I was born November 28, 1984. It was a Wednesday. I signed my mother says I was destined to hold the week together. But she told me to never become complacent because success, she says, comes in Friday casual and never came in Monday blues. Now the moment I was born, my mother proclaimed me Ahmed, an Arabic name, which is supposed to mean one who constantly thanks God. But ever since 9-11, it means sketchy welfare scam and immigrant terror pile. And you know what? That's it. I give up. Everybody give me attention right now. I have lessons of mass instructions and I'm ready to blow all of y'all away with my talent because truthfully, I'm just an African trying to make in this entertainment industry. Man, I barely blow anything out of proportion. But let's take in a moment of silence how I can no longer take my career to the United States to blow up. How I'm unable to break into markets without being detained. How I can no longer hold your attention hostage without raising suspicion. Now I know the name Ahmed doesn't encompass my history and that is why I have adopted the name Nomadic to carry my Somali tradition it means knowledge based nomad because one of my grandfathers was a farmer the other a nomad herding animals I can be neither in this city so I have adapted to planting ideas that feed thoughts and harvesting emotions while traveling and making a living off of words that are heard. Now my mother jokes that even my spirit is a nomad and that my poems are much like a caravan because she said even my words are moving. But the thing is, we couldn't afford toys. So they replaced them with endless amount of stories and because we had nothing else, I played with monster truck metaphors and action alliterations and linguistic spirals with my friends and family, facilitated to further perfect my powerful punchlines. But it's my mother's gentle intellect that eased the understanding of how raising points is far more superior than raising fists and that money has nothing to do with the process of becoming enriched. So now, I invest my time in people. And my grandparents may no longer be here, but I continue to embody in their dreams that mean even if I had to enter the pen to start a sentence, I would write my way back into the world to finish the poem my grandfathers are starting. So here I am, a nomad of literature, and try not to settle with names like pirate, warlord, or terrorist. And it's obvious that my history is too rich for those poor in judgment. They're unable to digest my truth that they throw up all these slurs. And I thought it would change with age, but I had to take my expectations to rehab because they were too darn hot. And even though I try to sober them with thoughts, they continue to take shots at me. I may not be the king of beers, but I'm wiser. So I stick to my round of applause because there's anything I've learned in these 34 years of life is that it's all about outlook. So work with Microsoft, I'm gonna to continue to excel until I reach my PowerPoint. Sign <laughs>